Hey guys, welcome back. So should we just address the giant yellow elephant in the room? Yeah. So my Archer and Olive sunbox is here, and it's yellow. It's not as big as the last one from December, which was like this massive purple cube. This is actually pretty small. But it came in a box that looks like, like the size box the Happy Planner Squad gets when they get like release boxes from the company. Like it was huge, and, and this was in it. Okay, so let's crack this open and see what we got. Hopefully it's not all yellow. Oh goodness. Alright. Well, I'm gonna put this here. Try to put this under here so that you guys can see what it looks like when you open the box. And then I'm gonna stop the video for a minute, get all this stuff out, this yellow monstrosity off my table, and we'll start checking out what we got. Be right back. Okay, so there is one piece of yellow packaging in here. Um, I don't really even know what this is, but it is yellow. Hmm, okay, so we've got a notepad with light green, dark green, and the yellow paper. Nice thick cardboard on the back. This feels like a journal paper. Like, this is really thick. Like, really thick. Doesn't tell you, but I'm willing to bet that's the journal paper. Alright, let's look for something less yellow. <laughs> like, that's a thing. Okay, uh, let's do this one first. Okay, so these are coloring pages. There are three sheets in here, and these are punched out monstera leaves. I think they're monstera leaves. They kind of look like them. And other little leaves and dots and things. Um, let's see if we can get these out. Alrighty, they are out. And, okay, these are nice and thick. So, I don't know how, if I move that light, the pattern is going to show up. So, this is like some really tall leaves and I don't know, it's just a bunch of leaves. This one is a bunch of leaves and leopards, maybe? I'm not sure if you guys can see. Tell me what animal you think that is. Okay, this one's monstera leaves, the whole thing. Oh, I should probably also mention that the yellow box is uh, embossed or debossed. Embossed with uh, monstera leaves. You have to like, you see a weird pattern and you have to run your hands over it to figure it out. And then if you stare at it long enough, it hurts your eyes because it's bright yellow, you can see the leaves. So that was cool. Alright, so these are much thicker paper. Um, apparently there were a lot of complaints about prior coloring pages in a sub box that I did not get because I wasn't a subscriber then. Um, and apparently they were like super thin paper. That is much thicker paper. It's not as thick as the journal paper, but it's, it's thicker. It's like, um cardstock maybe less than cardstock but close okay we got a pink box I like pink enamel bookmarks set of two oh those are cute so we've got the little animal from the coloring pages you can see it better here what is that let me know and then we've got a leaf so they pop out so these are bookmarks let's see oh well, they're not that heavy like the keychains in the Valentine's Day box, those things were hefty. These are not heavy, but they're cute. I mean, I guess you really don't want them to be that heavy, right? Because they're going to be on your pages. Like this part is probably the heaviest part because that's where the enamel is. But Monstera leaves. I love those. Okay. So I like those. Okay, now what's this? stickers or die cuts. Again with the packaging. It it all rips. Why does it hate me? It all rips. Shiny die cuts. Ah, alright, well that one's damaged. And multiple pieces. But these are glossy die cut stickers, so I'm guessing these are vinyl. Yeah. These are yeah, these are vinyl. So uh coconuts maybe? So they have like the three dots. Monstera leaves. little fan-like leaves, this other stuff, and well, that one's busted, but I'm sure it's got a mate because it seems like there's two of everything in here. Um, 
so now here's the animal and what's that like a fern leaf and then one of those is in there which is weird because it doesn't seem to be attached to it. it's just like I don't know oh many of these are damaged that's upsetting okay so here's the mate for that one this one is less damaged I mean I can fix it with tape runner but okay so then we've got like some orange flowers and some green leaves they look kind of like I don't know leaves from a snake plant so there's two of those I think there's two of everything here's the blue leaves and two of these cat animals by themselves and then two of these big what, palm frond type things they look like something that uh, oh what's the name of the character shoot the wife of the rich guy on Gilligan's Island like this is the kind of thing they would have gotten like Gilligan to fan them with that makes sense if you watch old TV shows on TV like I do when you can't sleep you'll get the reference um, alright so this thing broke so we're just gonna kind of scoop these up and put them over here because there's no, that, that's right okay and we got washi tape let's see if this box rips too uh, if you don't understand the box ripping no see this one is just fine so if you don't understand the box ripping jokes you should um, check out my Archer and Olive spring haul video that went up yesterday or the day before um, because like everything was ripping on me everything was ripping on me okay so we've got four washi tapes one of these is quite wide um, and I don't necessarily understand these patterns uh, let's see do we have another one of those things like we used last time we do but I can't get it to come to me this one okay that's the sticker side right yeah okay let's see what these look like because I don't understand this pattern necessarily maybe you need to see it flat it's like a pretty teal I almost wonder if it's not supposed to go well, I suppose it could go sideways I'll show you what I mean in a second so here it is oh, I need to work it because if I can get a hold of it stupid band-aids um, all right, so it looks pretty cool like that, right? But when I unrolled it, it kind of looked like maybe, like it was supposed to go like a totem pole. Like which way does it look like it's supposed to go to you guys? Because this reminds me of that like, here we go with the old TV shows again, that Brady Bunch, like they went to Hawaii, scary episode or two thing. That's what this reminds me of. And the thing that stinks about rerun TV is they don't necessarily run the episodes in order, so it took like a year for me to see the whole Hawaii thing. Um, now I suppose I could just stream it, although I don't know who has that show. I really have no desire to watch it anymore, but if you do, I'm sure some streaming service has it. Okay, so here's the pink one, which is some sort of animal print. I'm not really sure. It doesn't necessarily look like the little animal. And I'm calling it that because I don't know what it is. No, maybe it is. It's got curvy things. This has curvy things. Someone's got to tell me what that is, please. Um, so there is that pink one. That's pretty. Oops. All right, and now we've got the animal. And this is a nice dark green. And the animal's a nice, like, gold color, so it's not, like, yellow. So that's cute, right? That leaves and little dots flowers. Kind of looks like just a cat, really. And then we've got this one. Ooh, it's got leaves on it. I see a Monstera. Alright, that is awesome. That is really cool. I love that one. only did this box not rip it bent back like it's supposed to which is why it didn't rip yay all right I should probably email customer service and let them know about the boxes from the spring release considering the fact that this one was perfectly fine um, no I don't want them to replace the boxes or anything I just want them to know that that's a problem uh, all right so we got a box of calligraphs and these are supposed to be special colors to go with uh, this 
sub box, which by the way is currently um, available on the website now. So if you are not a subscriber and you want to be a subscriber, you can go to the Archer and Olive website and become a subscriber. Uh, we have a discount code link in the description for first time orders. You can use the link, you can get the discount code, but um, it's not going to work on the sub box. Uh, and don't order anything else with the sub box like everywhere else. Otherwise, you know, I mean, this comes out once a quarter. You, they're going to ship you this one like immediately, but still, who wants to wait? Um, so anyway, you can use the link, you can get a code for another order, you can get the sub box, you can cancel it whenever you want. I don't get anything for this at all. It's a referral link. It is not like, there's no commissions, there's no affiliates, there's no nothing. Um, I don't even know anybody at Archer and Olive. <laughs> um, I just really like their stuff. So anyway, if you're interested, the link is down there. It will take you to the website. You can sign up, get your discount code for another order, and then you can subscribe if that's what you're interested in doing. Or you can just go shop, whatever you want to do or, you know, totally ignore the link too. Okay, so, I checked all my old, old, all my acrylographs that I bought, they were retiring, like they said, um, and none of them have the names on them. So, I think that's why they're being quote-unquote retired, because they're replacing them with ones with names on them, because it's, it's very upsetting that you don't know what color things are. So, this one is called Blue Lagoon. Now, we're gonna have this problem again. Okay, so that's called Blue Lagoon. That's pretty. This one is called Marsh Green. And that one is pretty. I think I messed up the lights now. So that's where it says Marsh Green, and then, you know, there's the, the shorter tip. The fine point in the broad... I don't know. Alright, this one is called Parakeet. I thought parakeets were yellow. This is green. Am I wrong about parakeet? Like, I thought Tweety was a parakeet. Am I wrong? Someone let me know. Um, so, that one is parakeet. This one doesn't look like the cap's on right. It's weird. Is it on? Yeah, the caps are just weird. Alright, so this one's called jungle green. This is dark like that last washi tape that I really liked. Um, so I like this color. And then this one is Toucan Orange. Oh, that looks kind of yellow on my screen. I don't know what it's going to look like on your screen, but on the screen it looks yellow. In person it is very orange. Maybe this is better. There we go. Alright, so we are going to... Let's swatch these, um, because I am going to do a video this week with all the other pens from the Spring Collection, and that's a lot of pens. Why throw another five in there when it goes with this set anyway? The problem is finding a piece of paper. Um, you would think that I would have... I did. I don't know. Oh, wait. No, wait. Can I use this? Alright, so... Piece of... Notebook paper. Now, obviously, it's not Archer and Olive paper, so... You know, it's not going to, uh, it might bleed, I don't know. Alright, so, this is green. It's jungle green, so that's the fine tip. And this is the broader tip. That's cool. Alright, and now we've got, what are you called again? Toucan Orange. Uh, don't suggest writing with this unless you actually know how to do calligraphy, because this broader tip is very wiggly, <laughs> and not at all what I meant to do. <laughs> I meant to write with this one. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Alright, so the broad tip comes out like yellowy, but the small one comes out in the orange like it's supposed to be. And they're the same color, too. Like the nibs. They're the... If it'll focus, I don't know if it will. They're exactly the same color. But one comes out yellow and one comes out orange. That's really weird. I totally do not get that. We'll figure that out. Okay, so we did these two. I'm going to start to lose track. 
Okay, this one is Blue Lagoon. Short side first. Oh, that's pretty. This one's a consistent color. <laughs> All right, and this one is marsh green. Oh, this is very light. This would probably be great on like black paper. Yep, they're both very light, both tips. And these caps are very tight. <laughs> Alright, and the last one is the parakeet. No, we want the short side first. Okay. That's pretty. That's like, I don't know about parakeets. That looks like grass and like light colored foliage doesn't really look like a bird color to me. That looks like a bird color for sure. All right, so I'm gonna have to ask them. Email customer service, which is good because they're really nice and they always get back to you. What's up with that? Because I don't understand that at all. Okay, well, let's put these back in their box. Okay, and this one also, if it wasn't on my uneven table, I think it might stand up. They're supposed to. There we go. All right, so they do stand up. Figure out where to put things. All right, so now, last but certainly not least. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled sub box unboxing. This is Future Pam, about 20 minutes in the future. So I had ended the video and I was taking pictures and I realized something was missing. And then I looked over to the right and there it was and I forgot to show it to you guys. So let's check it out. This is the tote bag that comes in the sub box. It is like a minty green. It is huge. I don't even know if I can show you how huge this is on camera. Like, this is crazy. So, yeah, really big. So, it's got this inside, which is like, I don't know, kind of maybe standard tote size in there. But then it's got, on both sides, these big pockets that have compartments. So it's like three compartments on this side, really big handles, three compartments on this side, and they're really quite large. And then it's got the Archer and Olive little label on the front. This thing is really like, I mean, like here's its footprint. Like I can't even get it all on camera. Like, <laughs> I still can't get it all on camera. It's huge, okay? It's huge. It's really huge. Um, but it's compartmentalized, so its hugeness is kind of diminished because you you have compartments. Like if this was just like one huge bag, that'd be kind of cool. On the other hand, this would make it easy to put like all your notebooks and you know pens or whatever if you want to take them somewhere with you. Um, if you don't have a bag, you usually use for that. I have lots of bags, um, but this is kind of cool. Um, like I said, really big straps. It's got this thing on the side. I don't know what that's for. I hang like the keys off it. Um, not this one in particular, but other bags that have that. Um, and then it's got this thing inside with a metal ring and there's the Archer and Olive tag. And then on this side, it's got the same string on the other side and this grommet. And I don't really know what you're supposed to do with it. I mean, I suppose you're supposed to put this through there. But then, I don't understand what its function is. Um, so, if someone out there knows more about tote bags, let me know what that's for because I don't understand it. But anyway, I had left this out. This is cool. This would be very handy for carrying around books and stuff if you're going somewhere and you like to read or journal or draw instead of hanging out with a bunch of people you don't know, like me. Um, <laughs> Like, I'm okay with you guys because we're on the internet, but put me in a room with a bunch of strangers and, like, two people I know, and I'm going to pull out a book and sit far away from y'all. All right, I will let you go back to your video now. We have an Archer and Olive 
160 dot grid pages, dot grid notebook, usual ultra thick, perfect for markers, etc, etc. And this is a pretty box. This is blue, and this has some of the patterns on it from that really wide washi tape. open. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is like pleather, vegan leather, whatever you want to call it. And that is a gold monstera leaf and two other leaves. here. Okay. These are sharp again, but they're not as sharp. They're not quite as sharp as the ones from the spring release box. Those were pretty bad. Um, this is nice. You have just normal edges again, which is good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the gilded edges and all. I really like the edges from the um, Valentine's, or was it the Simply Gilded? Whichever one it was, those were cool. We will take this off. I'm not generally a huge green fan. Well, I certainly like it better than yellow. Um, but this is nice. This is pretty. This is hmm, A5 sized? Did they put it on here? No. I think this is an A5. Because I think I have some this size. And as always, we've got the nice pocket in the back. And then all these pages. Oh, okay. Do you guys see that? All right, so I read about this online and I thought like somebody was smoking something. These pages are perforated. Like no joke. These are, per and they're kind of sharp too. They're perforated. Well, the back side is sharp, the other side is not. These are perforated. On the one hand, I am incredibly clumsy and prone to breaking things. There's our charm and our pretty... I suppose it's the same color, but it, no, it looks more like the blue on the box than the green on the cover. Um, so this could be good for people like me who are clumsy and... or bad for people like me, I guess, that are clumsy um, and tend to rip things. On the other hand, it could be good for people who are also like me and make really big mistakes and are bad at you know, anything that doesn't involve using stickers and washi tape to be creative. Um, <laughs> my drawing stinks, my handwriting stinks. So I suppose if you had a page that you were terribly unhappy with, you would be able to remove it if you wanted. I don't know what the solution with these for that is now. I assumed you just glue it to another page or glue something on top of it. Um, but it is making me nervous turning these pages because I just keep thinking that like this perforation is like loosening and loosening and the pages are going to come out. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, pen loop. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Cool or dangerous with the perforation? Not that you're going to get cut by it. I mean, it's sharp, but nobody's going to get cut by it. But, like, how likely do you think you would be to, to lose all these um, pages? Because I, I think, knowing me, I probably would. Just from turning the pages, it felt like I was going to lose them. Alright, so we've got our die cuts. And we've got our washi and our enamel bookmarks, coloring pages, tri-colored notebook. And this is definitely the same paper in the journals. Um, and calligraphs, calligraphs. Someone, I don't know, calligraphs, calligraphs. They both sound right to me. I have no idea. Um, so that's everything in this quarter's sub box, um, which also comes with a discount code exclusive to box subscribers for like a month. Plus there's a blog and all kinds of other interesting stuff that you only get um, if you get the subscription. So all in all, I think this is pretty good. Uh, the box is $75 plus shipping and I think tax. Pretty sure there was tax. Um, so it's kind of pricey, but it is once every three months. So it's not, um, you know, every month. But it is kind of pricey. But considering what's in here, I think it's well worth it because this definitely exceeds that amount of money. Um, you know, and it's Archer and Olive. It's, I like this stuff a lot. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with the notebook. And the rest of it is good. I'm just worried about those pages. But I have so many journals. It's going to probably be a while until I actually use this one. 
Um, so maybe I can see how other people combat that issue before I get around to using this one. Because um, I'm going to try to use them somewhat in order of when I got them. Maybe. Because um, <laughs> there's black ones, there's white ones, there's shiny ones, there's, they're in all different colors, there's lots of them. I think I'm just going to have to line them all up and do like eeny meeny miny mo in order to decide which one I'm going to use first. Because I like all of them. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this sub box. Is it overpriced? Is it not cool? Is it cool? What do you think? Do you like it? Um, what do you think about the perforated journal? Um, oh, and the, the box was pretty. Um, the washi tape, coloring pages. What do you think about all of it? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Uh, and if you do subscribe to this uh, box, tag me on Instagram if you post your journal pages. I'd love to see them. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a couple of your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.